Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boris. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below or at the top at the widget. This is going to be the Red Sox beating the Rays series recap in four games. Count them, four games. Didn't need the total five games. They beat them three games to one. They win at home in Fenway Park in front of their hometown crowd and bring it home going back to the ALCS or the Boston Red Sox after missing the playoffs. Last year going back there in the first time since 2018, of course. Um, so let's get right into recapping the series. Unfortunately, of course, in the first game, the Red Sox got beat by McGlanahan, who they were able to get to tonight that we'll get to soon. And uh, they got B5-0. Erod did not show up in that game. But then the next game, the offense made, made it amazingly show up. They got 14 runs. They did great. They had 20 hits to only 8 by the Rays and won that game 14-6 to with, I would say, the MVP of that game. Other than the offense also being Tanner Hoke, who came into that game and pitched 5 innings only giving up one run after Chris Sale struggled mightily in his only inning of work. And then Brazier, Robles, and Barnes all came in and had good games in that tilt as well. And then, of course, in Game 3, Boston was able to capture that one 6-4 to four, in a crazy 13-inning game with that crazy ground rule double rule. That, of course, took an effect there. And then Christian Vasquez was able to win it in the bottom of the 13th inning. A huge walk-off hit by Christian Vasquez, where Kike Hernandez was able to have a huge impact again. He was able to have a single that made it 2-2. He was the tying hit. And then Devers, playing through injury, had a single that was the leading hit, as well as Kike again in the fifth inning of that ball game in Game 3, giving the Red Sox some padding to make it 4-2 before, of course, Wander Franco homering and uh, Randy Rosarina, the probably rookie of the year, doubling in order to even up the ball game before Christian Vasquez all the way then in the 13th inning was able to win this ball game. But a guy that stepped up, I would say, just like I shouted out Tanner Hoke in the other video, Nathan Evaldi pitched well in this game, five innings, two runs. But another guy that really stepped up in this game was Nick Pavetta, pitching four shutout innings, getting helped out by the ground rule double rule, but that doesn't matter. He was still lights out in this game, had an electric fastball, really the best fastball I've probably ever seen from him coming out of the pen, so that was very good to see. Other guys showed up in this game. The only guy that was also good, really good to round out the season, just wasn't that good particularly in this game, was Robley. And then Whitlock came in to save the day. This man has been Superman all year, Garrett Whitlock. Of course, saved the day again tonight. Got out of it uh, one batter too late, like someone said in the Facebook group, probably, because Brazier didn't show up, but he showed up early in the series, so I see why Cora trusted him to try to get out of the inning. It just didn't work, and then Garrett Whitlock saved it, of course, and then we had the walk-off hit, of course, there by the great Kike Hernandez. What a pickup. Him and Hunter Renfro, Renfro excuse me, have both been who made a big play, of course, in this game on the running catch to start off the ball game. But let's now get into recapping. The final game of the series, which was today's 6-5 win that Erod, by the way, was able to rebound from his struggling first game and go out and pitch five two-run innings, six strikeouts, and really control their lineup well. And then Tanner Hope came in. He did give up a run in this one, but still, all things considered, looked good and has looked good in the playoffs. Josh Taylor's looked great in the playoffs. Ryan Brazier had a bad outing after having a good outing in this series, so we look for him to bounce back, just like we look for Robles to bounce back, excuse me, and then Tanner Hope, the winning pitcher in this ball game, in two innings pitch, didn't give up a hit, didn't walk anybody, and, or excuse me, not Tanner Hope, Garrett Whitlock, again, in this game, was who was the winning pitcher, didn't give up a hit in two innings pitch, didn't walk anybody, and um, just was lights out again, and again, was that Superman for this team that just pitches great and consistently well, and he's going to be a great pitcher that's going to need to consistently do this for the Sox as the playoffs continue because we're going to need somebody like him to continue to step up. We're going to need the Robles to step back up after having a bad outing and same with Brian Brazier. Well, both of those guys were good to round out the season, just not good particularly in their last outings in the postseason. And then Taylor's been great, so if the bullpen can keep pitching like it had in this postseason, which I believe is to a two-something ERA, that would be very good. And very, very, very helpful and a huge aid to the Red Sox. And if Rivaldi keeps doing his thing, if Erod can pitch like he did tonight, that would be huge. If Pavetta keeps doing that and Hope keeps doing that, 
you've got very good pitching of guys that can also start, obviously, now that we're going into a seven-game series. And then you would expect Chris Sale to bounce back after that bad outing, whether it's against the Astros, the stinking Astros, or if it is against the Chicago White Sox. And it's a battle of the Sox. We will have to wait and see. Of course, I will do a series preview for that once we figure out what the matchup is. And there's actually matchups put out for some of the pitching matchups for the game. So stay tuned for that coming up in the future. But this has been a series recap to the Red Sox beating the Rays in four games. Again, subscribe down below or on the widget up above if you enjoy the content. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And enjoy the rest of the playoffs. Great game going on right now between the Giants and the Dodgers. If you want to check that out, Lungo hit a home run to put the Giants up 1-0. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out. Go Red Sox. Let's continue this run in the playoffs. Dirty water, baby. Peace.